Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be doing a good old fashioned weapon review and we're going to be doing it on the auto loading 8.35, specifically the Marksman variant. Um, the factory variant is very similar to this one and I'm going to be focusing on this gun today because there are a number of people who enjoy this weapon a lot, in fact claim that it is the best gun in the game. And this is due in large part to the fact that it's actually the second highest damage per second weapon in the game, second only to the Automatico, um, and the Automatico only retains that higher damage output in extreme close quarters. Beyond that, the Auto Loading 8 has got a very, very fast time to kill. What's the trade-off you say, and why isn't everybody in the game using this weapon? Well, it's only got a five round magazine, and you need three of those rounds to kill a single person. That means you need to be shooting at a 60% accuracy ratio or better in order to get a kill with that single mag. And I'm willing to bet that 99.999% of all players in the game don't achieve a 60% accuracy ratio with any automatic or semi-automatic weapon unless you are just like a zen master and you only take a shot that you know you're going to hit. I would say that most players, even the pro players, shoot at far less than a 60% ratio, which means that most of the time with this weapon, you're not going to be getting a kill with your magazine. You're going to have to shoot at somebody, miss some of those shots, reload, and shoot again. If you don't like the sound of that, well, then this gun could be very aggravating. Most guns in the game have enough ammo in a single magazine to get one kill comfortably, and often two, three, or even more, depending on which weapon you're using. If you're running the support class, then chances are you might have a huge amount of ammo in your magazine to deal with multiple threats. For example, the Medic's M1907 Sweeper does pretty much the same maximum damage as this weapon, of course, depending at the range you're shooting, but it has a 21 round magazine, so you basically have a little bit more than four times as much damage potential in that mag. And that gun shoots almost as fast as this one, 300 rounds per minute versus the auto-loading 8.35's 359 rounds per minute. Now because landing your shots is so crucial with this gun, it does actually have some decent stats for backing up your personal accuracy. For one, the Marksman variant has this optic here that you can dial up to a four times optic or dial down to a 2.5 times magnification. Right now I have it on 2.5 to make it a little bit more usable in the closer ranges where you're actually gonna wanna be using this. It also has very good accuracy and good bullet spread. Basically the bullet spread isn't out of control, so your follow-up shots, even if you try spamming this weapon, are still going to maintain a decent accuracy. So this is one of the few medic rifles that you can actually spam as fast as you freaking want to and still maintain decent accuracy. And that can be uh, kind of a problem with some of the other medic rifles out there that have some of the crummier bullet spread stats. You'll start spam firing the gun and all of a sudden you'll notice that your follow-up shots seem to be way off the mark. You're not really going to get that sensation as much with the auto loading 8 marksman. And on top of that it also has some incredibly low recoil value so you should have no trouble staying on target providing that your target isn't jumping around all over the place. I find that's one of the easiest ways to counter this weapon since you really can't miss any of your shots. If your target is just jumping around bunny hopping zigzagging it's going to be really hard to land three out of those five shots. So if you know your opponent has this weapon or just in general you're trying to dodge shots it could definitely save your life against this rifle in particular. Now generally speaking you'll need three shots to kill your target. If you mix a headshot in there it'll become two shots to kill your target. In close range or closer range rather you're going to be doing 42 max damage per shot so if your opponent has a little bit of damage done to them already it could be a two shot kill but at extreme ranges the damage on this drops down to 30 per shot so that's basically 50 meters or further away and you're going to need a four shot kill so you really don't want to be using this weapon at extreme ranges it's not even going to be that great at extreme ranges anyway and i only use it at those ranges if i see a totally stationary target and i think i can sort of work a few headshots in there then you can 
drop them a little bit faster but otherwise it's probably better to conserve your ammo and time going for sort of close medium range targets now the feasibility of this weapon is really the hang up for me on paper you can say yeah this gun has got the second fastest time to kill in the game and at most ranges the fastest time to kill in the game or at least most close medium range engagements you've got the ultimate gun for this single kill but whenever it comes to getting two kills or maybe killing a target that's very agile and good at dodging shots, this gun is going to be very difficult and aggravating. Now on one hand, engaging and then falling back for a reload is actually not a bad attribute to have as a medic. I noticed that I stayed alive a lot longer with this class because I was playing so conservatively and so carefully because I just didn't have the firepower to really commit fully to an attack. In fact, you never have the firepower to commit to an attack. You just have to try and pick off one target, hide, reload, re-engage, pick off one target, hide, reload, re-engage. You can always switch to your sidearm and try and deal with multiple targets in close quarters, and that is totally doable, but it's not an ideal situation, especially when things in close quarters, you end up running into a lot of guys running shotguns or the automatico. I mean, a handgun at that point really isn't gonna cut it. Now for the medic class specifically, not being able to fully engage or commit to an attack isn't always a bad thing. In fact, it can actually force you into playing the medic class a little bit better. I found myself uh, looking around a lot more in between reloading and noticing down teammates that might have been close to me that I might not uh, have noticed otherwise if I had a bigger magazine or was committing to an attack. So I did spend a lot more time uh, reviving dead teammates or healing teammates than I think I would have with a, a gun with a larger magazine. And that's an interesting attribute in the sense that it forces you into that gameplay style. I mean, you can adopt that gameplay style with any gun if you would like to, and maybe this gun will sort of teach it to you, but uh, it's just a good thing to have as a medic. You have so much downtime while reloading, uh, a good player can look around quickly, ascertain the situation, and see if his teammates need any sort of help. So I was able to do a lot of that in between reloads. One thing that I think will play a really big factor in whether or not you enjoy this weapon or choose to use it a lot is what games of Battlefield do you like to play? Do you like to play all at 64 player uh, operations game modes where you could run into anywhere from one to 10 players at a time? If so, this gun really might not cut it. The reload time might just not be fast enough and you're gonna feel inadequate in being able to deal with multiple targets. I mean, if you sneak up behind three guys, they all have their backs turned to you with this weapon, you have to make some weird choices. Do I go for some more accurately placed headshots shots and try and get multiple kills? Do I throw a grenade and then try and finish off with this weapon? Do I just automatically switch to my pistol which has higher damage capacity with a single magazine? It's by no means a simplistic or forgiving weapon. Without question requires very very high skill to use. My concern is that even with high skill or at least reasonably high skill I think the reward factor for this gun just isn't quite high enough. You compare it to something like the Automatico, which has the highest damage per second in the game, and that weapon is incredibly easy to use in close quarters. It really doesn't require a lot of skill to get a cheap close quarter kill, but this weapon here requires a huge amount of skill to get not only a close quarter kill, but a medium range kill. And if your target is moving around or bouncing around a lot, that becomes near impossible to land enough shots. And so I feel like you could spend a, a lifetime trying to master this weapon, yet somebody's just gonna pick up an automatico and blow you away in close quarters. And at medium range, if you slip up, even in the slightest, a novice with a larger magazine is gonna take you down. So it's a very unforgiving weapon and the reward for it isn't particularly high. Not being able to get multiple kills with a magazine is without question a massive buzzkill for me um, and it kind of ruins most of your flanking opportunities. I already noticed that my kill per minute was significantly lower with this weapon and easily higher with other guns that I didn't even really have to try that hard with. So I feel like uh, mastering this weapon I would still have a lower kill per minute on average just because I have to reload in between every single kill, whereas other weapons will at least let me deal with large clumps of enemies. 
It certainly doesn't agree with my playstyle that much, but if you like the idea of playing a very passive, a very tentative medic where you have to reload a lot, engage, hide, engage, hide, that kind of playstyle, then you might enjoy this class. If you've got a lot of good teammates that can kind of watch your back and uh, take care of targets that get in close or come up on your flank and you can really set yourself up the perfect engagement distance and the perfect a bit amount of cover, then again, you might have a bit more fun with this gun. Otherwise, I certainly wouldn't recommend it to the average player, and even the really good players out there are probably going to resent only having the ability to kill one target per magazine. Now, I do recommend trying out the weapons for yourself, see if it fits your playstyle, even if it's not my cup of tea, it might be yours. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.